Well, I'm playing around with my watercolors for the first time in probably close to 20 years, other than just doing little demos for my online art academy, because I have to do a watercolor painting for King Charles. So I'm a former president of the Canadian Society of Painters in Watercolor, and this year is our 100th anniversary. King Charles has agreed to accept a hand-bound book of original watercolors from living past presidents of the society. So I'm incredibly honored to be asked to be creating a watercolor for King Charles, but it's a little stressful because as most of you know, I haven't painted in watercolor for years. Now to make it even more stressful, we moved this summer to a brand new home up in Cobble Beach in Georgian Bay. and I don't even have a studio set up yet. So I've cobbled together this little studio set here you can still see the pink insulation uh, on the walls in the basement. And I'm gonna be getting back and making friends with watercolor. And then I have to actually create a painting good enough that I'm gonna be proud to have it as part of this gift that's going to King Charles from the Canadian Society of Painters and Watercolor to celebrate our 100th anniversary. Now, each of the living past presidents has received a tube with several sheets of watercolor with the exact dimensions laid out where the painting has to occur. So I only have these chances to create a successful painting. So I'm gonna be playing around a little bit on my own paper, kind of making friends with watercolor. And then I'm gonna to have to decide, am I gonna do one of my portraits? Am I gonna do my abstracted landscapes? Or am I maybe going to try to do a watercolor version of the type of work that most of you are familiar with of mine that I paint in oils with the sun coming through the trees. I'm gonna be documenting this process. So if you wanna come along with me for the whole journey, make sure you're following me and make sure you look out for these posts.